Um, in this video, I'm going to show how you can install Windows 10 on your Pi 4. This is the real thing. It's not skin Linux or anything. So first, I want to uh, show you guys what's working. So the USB ports do work. They didn't used to, but now there's a little hack that you can do to get them working. So only 3 gigabytes of RAM uh, are working on the 4 gigabyte and 8 gigabyte. So we don't have 8 or 4 gigabyte of RAM yet. Mm. The stuff that isn't working yet, we don't have GPU drivers, so that's a big performance issue. There's no Bluetooth drivers, no Wi-Fi drivers, and no Ethernet drivers. So, yeah. so the way to get internet on Windows on Raspberry Pi, um, USB tethering. So if you have an Android phone, just connect the cable to your Raspberry Pi and go to settings and turn on USB tethering and you can get internet up and running. Or have an Ethernet adapter. I have an Ethernet adapter, but um, let me uh, tell this that not all of them work, so it's kind of a gamble when you're buying one. So just keep that in mind. So first of all, to get it up and running, we need um, this tool called Windows and Raspberry Imager. So if you go to this website, go to Downloads. This will, all of these are going to be in the description like always. And we want the latest pre-release version of Windows on Raspberry because Raspberry Pi 4 is not included in this one, but it's included in this one. So just download that. I'm going to save it in my downloads folder. Oh, it's already downloaded as you see. And we need one more thing. So this um, used to be really slow, but... Thanks to Amir Dahan on his Discord, he has made this very, he's like optimizes the images and makes them runnable. So, like they used to be very slow. I tried it a while ago and it was like not fun at all. But after he optimized them and made them better, it's a lot easier. So, right now, I'm actually going to be showing, there's two ways to do this. Right now, I'm showing the first way to do it. So, you downloaded this tool. Then you go here. This is his newest build, 0 0.2.4 Heavy Falcon. So, he has a Google Drive um, link right there. And it's a .wim file. You can just download it. I already did. So, just grab that. And we need one more thing. So, up here, he has this RAM fix for RPI4. We need to grab that one, too. I'm going to save that in my downloads too. Okay, so now we, we have got everything that we need. So, I'm just going to close this up. I'm going to open up my downloads folder. And right here, I need, I'm need i going to make um, a new folder. And I'm going to call it WOR. And then I'm going to open up this WOR release. And get all of them and extract it to that folder so I'm using WinRAR but you guys could use 7-zip too I'm gonna save it in that folder just go OK you see it's already all in here and this uh, this RAM fix I'm also gonna extract that just extract it to the downloads so okay so once you do that open up your folder where you save this uh, I already did it here. See, I have WR. It says application. Click on that one. Yes. Okay, it came up. So I want English. You can click whatever language you use. And Raspberry Pi 4. And then choose device. And that's my SD card. Next, select your Windows on ARM image. Heavy Falcon.wim, as you saw, as I downloaded. Use the latest package available on server for the drivers. Do that. And just click accept, accept. Next, the UEFI firmware, latest available on the server. It's just downloading them. Next. Then you go next. And then you go install. And it will write it all to your uh, SD card. So, I already did all of that. So... Uh, just do that and when it when it says installation completed then you should be good and you, now you need to open up the RAM fix for RPI4 open up that folder and uh, so what we need to do first is um, see this WIM patch 
uh, I'm gonna take this win patch and put it in my downloads folder and so what we need to do now is open up CMD command prompt and go run as administrator okay so I I made this little uh, text command for us so you can get this in the description so right here where it says Windows F for the win patch where the command that says win patch you need to uh, change this with the letter of your drive so mine's F so I changed it for F and my boot is E so I need to change this to E so look this is for three gigabytes so if you have a four gigabyte or eight gigabyte Raspberry Pi use this command if you have a two gigabyte Raspberry Pi use this command and if you have a one gigabyte Raspberry Pi don't use any command so that's all done as you see so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this little command this will be in the description uh, I didn't copy it <laughs> Just paste it in here. Okay, see I'm here, so now I'm gonna go CD downloads because that's where my win patch was. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna copy this command. Oh I mean I did the wrong thing. <laughs> then then I need to go C D win patch. C D O S then CD win patch. Okay, now I can take this command and I can copy it and paste it in here. Okay, so now see it is applying the patch for so the USB ports will work. If you do not do this patch, your USB ports won't work. So this is pretty um, important. So see it says success successfully patched. So now we're we have USB port should be working. Then take this command. This is to make it enable three gigabytes of RAM. Take it, paste it. Operation completed successfully. So once you get that, you should be good. And you can pop it in your Raspberry Pi. Okay, so now I'm gonna show the second way. The second way is easier, I think. So go to the down right here and it has this mega link right here that I made actually and it, it it's all pre-installed so all you got to do is click on it this is for three gigabytes pi this is for two gig pies click on it click download and after you download that you're gonna need to extract it see right here um, I I already um, extracted it in my here this file I think and then open up etcher and then flash from file but you don't need the war tool or anything for this you just use you just use etcher uh, so you find that file that I used select target select your SD card and flash that's all you gotta do and plug it in the USB ports will work everything's gonna work like you don't need to apply that patch or anything so yeah those are the two ways now I'm gonna go over to my Pi and um, finish it up show how to set it up okay so now I'm I put the SD card in my Raspberry Pi and I'm gonna boot it up So you see, and at first, yeah, you should you should get this um, Raspberry Pi logo. Then yeah, this is what it's supposed to do. Okay, so you see now I got to the window screen. So this goes for a while, and then it's gonna do a reboot. And then it goes to the setup screen, so don't worry if it starts rebooting or whatever. But if you do get a screen that says your device ran into a problem and needs to be restarted, then you have a problem and you should reflash it and do all the stuff that I did again. Because sometimes when flashing, something happens and it just messes up. So if that happens, you should reflash. And now it's going to take a while, so...
Uh, so you see, I got to the setup script, and this is just like a normal Windows 10 PC. Just I'm gonna go yes to United States. So yeah, and as you see, my USBs are working. The Win patch worked. Uh, right keyboard US yes. Uh, skip. For some reason, it always goes a little black here, but it doesn't matter. And just right here, just say I don't have internet. And con continue with limited setup. And accept the license. And just uh, type in whatever you want. Type in your password. And sec security questions, I don't really read them. I just type in a few letters, but it doesn't really matter. Takes a little bit here for some reason. Uh, oh, it always says something went wrong. Right here, it's always going to say that, so just go skip. And I would recommend turning off everything just for um, better performance. I turned off everything. You guys can do whatever you want, but... Okay, so now... It it's just going to start uh, preparing Windows and setting it up. So this might take a few minutes too. Okay, so as you see, it worked. I mean, this is Windows 10 running on on our Raspberry Pi. So you see we got the bar. See, um, Amir has taken out a lot of stuff from here. That's why it works a lot faster. So I also am going to show a few tweaks to make it faster. So first of all, open up um, Task Manager. You can do that by um, Control Shift Escape or searching it in here. So just go um, more details. Then at performance, we can see we do have three gigabytes of RAM going. And startup, we have OneDrive. Disable that so you it will be faster for you. Another thing, Windows key plus R. Or you can uh, search run in here and type S Y S D uh, D dot. SPL Oh, I must have typed it wrong <laughs> For some reason sometimes I get these little um, it freezes like that I don't know why it's started to freeze a little Okay, uh, I had got it wrong. I just looked it up real fast. So it's S Y S D M dot C P L is the right thing so right here um, if we go down here to huh, it's freezing again I don't know why I mean it's in advanced then go to performance settings and right here go um, adjust for best performance and it disables all of those things click OK and see now it it looks like that and it opens up a lot faster and if I open up file explorer when I move it around it goes like that but it just makes the performance better so as you see I have an ethernet adapter here um, with this ethernet adapter I can get internet into my Pi so I just plug it into a USB port and I plug in my ethernet cable and wait for it Yeah, well, my internet went out for it's a di my internet went out for a, a few minutes, so I'm not. But in my next video, which will be soon, I'm gonna be um, testing out some apps on here and some games. So don't miss that one. It will be pretty soon. Uh, thanks for watching, and I hope you like it, and I hope you subscribe.